Hello everybody, this is Madasir Ali. In this video we will see how we can use Canva to design Power BI themes. There are many things we can do in Canva. It's not just related to designing Power BI themes. You can also use Canva as a, as a tool for your presentation in your organization. And I recently I came across a problem. Um, I am doing a lean green belt training from Lean Sensei. Uh, if you if you guys want to check out, so here is the organization that's offering a green belt training. So what's happening in in our Lean Green Belt training is they have divided the training in three sections: module one, two, and three. In module one, uh, in fact, in all the modules, we have to deliver a presentation at the end of the module. The problem is we only we don't have a lot of time to to deliver our presentation in a good format. I tried to do it in module one, and I failed miserably because I didn't have a lot of time to to make my presentation look visually good to the audience. In the second module what I did was I I made use of this Canva and I'm using a paid subscription and I have teamed up with our chief content uh, officer Brian Julius so what you can do you can share your designs with your team members and you can work on on the template at the same time like you do it with your google spreadsheets let's see how we can use this canva tool to design different templates here you can see you can not only can design templates in Canva. You can also create videos. You can create different types of videos. If you can, if you click on it, it will take you to different page where you can customize the already existing templates and can create your own videos. To design templates, if we go to template section, we can see we have many, many different types of templates available for business. If I click on presentations, I can get different types of templates to work on. I use this template for my, for my presentation. If I click on this ellipsis, I'll get two options. Number one is customize this template. Number two is preview this template. When I click on preview, you can see you have different pages available inside this template. Now you can customize it. You can do different sorts of stuff. You can also add animations and transitions. I haven't looked into this animations and transitions. I will do surely and I'll post another video if I find something interesting. If we go to customize this template, it will take me to the edit mode. The good thing about, about using the already existing templates is you don't have to do a lot of work, for example, designing logos. If you are good with this logo, you can go ahead and you can actually design your own logo in, in Canva. You have many different pages available. You can also change the backgrounds. If I don't like this background, I can go to background section and you click on this background and it will be replaced with the with the new background you can place this red color shape uh, on on any other text also so for example if i want to change my heading i can move this around Reporting on R, you can say presentation. I 
and now I can move this area to here and you can also move this to backward or forward I can change the organization name also I can create a punchline for example um, to prepare presentation in three hours because with this tool you can literally create a presentation in, in a couple of hours I can copy this shape I can resize it and uh, let me see prepare a presentation send backward in three hours So we have given a punchline to our presentation. We can add the title of report or date of the report or we can delete it if we don't want it. Another thing what we can do, we can actually bring images or pictures inside this template. So if I want to remove this one and I want to bring in my picture, I can go to upload section, upload media, from my device now I can just bring my picture in here we can also add some elements uh, from Canva so let me see if we have some objectives, for example, we are reporting on cost. I can copy and paste and say quality or some other metric. I can add some text in here or if you want to make the text dynamic, you can do it inside Power BI Desktop. And I can add some elements from here too. For example, if I search for, let me see. dollar I can bring this in here I can change the color of this to and I can resize it also so you don't have to go to different websites to download icons for your presentation it's so so easy the next thing is what I do like about it is if you go to the color section you can put your custom colors also and another cool feature about Canva is you can also place charts inside your presentation if you are make, um, creating a PowerPoint presentation for example and you don't really need it to be dynamic you can just bring in the chart in this section you can resize it and you have some settings available so instead of color I can make it red and what percentage I want to show for example 40 percent I can also adjust the line line weight I can add the percentage label also so it is so easy to create these types of charts in PowerPoint you would have to go and would have to play around with the with the shapes and everything to create just a simple donut chart and you have also other options also like line charts and area charts if you want to use it inside your presentation 
if you want to present it inside Canva, for example, if you are trying to deliver a presentation in PowerPoint, so instead of doing it in PowerPoint, you can actually present it in Canva. If I click on present and you will see a cool animation when you are presenting it inside Canva. See. And there are some other short keys available. Yeah. To do some funky stuff when you are delivering a presentation. Let me see if I find something else. Yeah, so <laughs> there are lots of stuff you can do with Canva. Now talking about bringing it inside Power BI presentation. We can download it from here. Either we can download it in PDF. I want it in PNG. I can adjust the size too. And I only want page one, for example, and I can download it. I have uh, already used it in my report in challenge number six, but the problem was I wasn't using the paid subscription. So when I tried to resize it, I couldn't. So that was the problem with the free version. Now if I bring in uh, image from downloads, now I can resize it without any issues. I can also bring in, in it as a background, add image, Uh, so it's so easy to create a theme in, in, in Canva and then use it inside your Power BI desktop. Uh, what's the benefit of uh, delivering a presentation or, or putting a lot of efforts in designing stage of your Power BI reports or your PowerPoint reports? The thing is, the management doesn't know how much time you have spent in uh, data transformation in creating your data models and in creating different types of measures in your analysis. It's, it's, it's the same thing as, for example, you are going out to eat in an expensive restaurant, right? And um, three things you look out for in an expensive restaurant. Number one is the serve time. Number two is the presentation. And number three is the taste. It's the same thing with, with our presentation is the how long you are taking in delivering the presentation, how your presentation really looks, and number three is the analysis. When, he, when we are presenting to the board of directors, all little things matter. So yeah, I hope uh, you liked this video and that's it from my side. See you in the next one. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.